Orisawa, Table of Contents. All about the Netherlands and Chile's, including Aruba and Curaçao. With visiting and touring information, geography, history, attractions, and other points of interest. Dr. Sydney Socloth. Dr. Sydney22 at gmail.com. 2023. Narration by Dr. Sydney Socloth. Zoe Phonemes. And Nathan Cole Tove. For a complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to tiny.one slash yt navigator. The Netherlands and Tellies. Aruba and Curaçao. This is the flag of the Netherlands Antilles. The five stars represent the five main islands of Bonne. Curaçao. Saba. St. Eustatius. And St. Martin. It is interesting to compare the flag of the Netherlands Antilles with the flag of the Netherlands itself. We see that the flag of the Netherlands Antilles has the same color bars as the Netherlands flag, except in a different arrangement, together with the addition of the five stars representing the five islands, the Netherlands Antilles or in Dutch Nederland Sintelen. The Netherlands Antilles are five islands in the Caribbean Sea and are an integral part of the Netherlands, but with full autonomy and in internal affairs. Where are the Netherlands and Tellies? Here is a map of the Caribbean Sea showing the Netherlands and Tellies. The large group of islands that separate the Caribbean Sea from the Atlantic Ocean are known as the West Indies, or more popularly, as the Caribbean Islands. Here are some of the many islands that comprise the West Indies. The West Indies is comprised of three main island groups, the Bahamas in the north, the Greater Antilles in the west, and the Lesser Antilles in the southeast. The Antilles are named after the mythical island of Antilla which, before the discovery of America, was believed to lie between Europe and Asia. The Greater Antilles include the island countries of Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti in the Dominican Republic, the island of Hispaniola, and Puerto Rico, and account for more than 90% of the land area of the Caribbean islands and also have about 90% of the population. The Lesser Antilles are the much smaller islands to the southeast, and they are divided into two groups, the Leeward Islands to the north and Windward Islands to the south. Also part of the Les Antilles saw group of relatively small islands roughly parallel to the South American coast of Venezuela. These range from Aruba in the west, to Trinidad and Tobago in the east. Some of these islands are part of the Netherlands Antilles. The Netherlands Antilles is composed of two widely separated groups of islands in the Caribbean. The southern group consisted of Aruba, Curaçao, and Bonaire near the coast of South America although Aruba became semi-independent in 1986, and so is technically no longer part of the Netherlands and Tellies. The two widely separated groups of islands are approximately 500 miles, 800 kilometers, apart. Here is the southern group of Aruba, Curaçao and Bonaire, also known as the ABC Islands. The southern group of Aruba, Curaçao, and Bonaire is close to the coast of Venezuela and Colombia. The distance from Aruba to the nearest point in Venezuela is only about 30 miles, or 50 kilometers. Here is the northern group of three islands or St. Martin, St. Eustatius, in Saba. These islands are about 150 miles or 250 kilometers east of Puerto Rico. What time is it in the Netherlands and Tellies?
Here are the time zones in the time in various places in terms of standard time. Not daylight savings time. The Netherlands Antilles is in the Atlantic time zone. One hour ahead of the Eastern Standard Time Zone of the United States and four hours behind London. Or Greenwich Mean Time. The Netherlands Antilles does not have daylight savings time. When it is 12 noon in New York. It is 1 p.m. in the Netherlands Antilles. When it's 12 noon in London. It is 8 a.m. in the Netherlands Antilles. The official language is Dutch, Netherlands. But the common language is Papiamento, also spoken in Curaçao and Bonaire. A Creole that evolved mainly from Portuguese, Spanish, and Dutch. English and Spanish are also widely used. Aruba. Aruba's motto is One Happy Island, and it's even on the license plates. The Aruba flag was officially adopted in 1976, and its style was retained after it became an autonomous region of the Netherlands. The red star represents the four points of the compass, denoting the varied sources of more than 40 nationalities living on Aruba. The red colo of the star symbolizes love of country. The white outline represents the white sandy beaches surrounding Aruba. And the blue denotes the colo of the sea. The two yellow stripes indicate the free position of Aruba with respect to the Netherlands and the Th Islands. While maintaining a close relationship with them. Here again is the location of Aruba with respect to Curaçao and the coast of South America. Aruba is 50 miles, 80 kilometers, northwest of Curaçao, and 18 miles north of the Venezuelan peninsula of Piraguana. Aruba is a small island measuring only 18 miles, oh 29 kilometer from end to end. At its widest point it is barely 6 miles. Oh, 10 kilometer. The capital and largest town and main port on the island is Oron Yestald. The total population of Aruba is only 106,000. Of which 31,000 live in Oron Yestald. The second largest town on the island is St. Nicolas. With a population of about 20,000. It has a deep water port and was home to an Exxon oil refinery that was the largest in the world at the time. Since 2004 it has been owned and operated by Valero Energy Corporation. Aruba was formerly a part of the Netherlands Antilles in 1986 it became a separate self-governing part of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. A governo appointed by the Dutch crown is the formal head of government and representative of the reigning monarch of the Netherlands. Executive authority is vested in a council of ministers, headed by a prime minister. Here is the parliament building in downtown Oranjestad. It is not very impressive. But remember that the entire population of Aruba is only 106,000. Aruba is generally low in altitude and fringed with coral reefs. The highest point is Mount Yamanota at 620 feet 189 meters. Aruba has barren soil with little or no natural irrigation. Most drinking water is obtained by desalinating seawater. The history of Aruba Originally inhabited by Arawak Indians, Aruba was discovered and claimed by Spain in 1499 and 1636. It was taken by the Dutch and occupied by the Dutch West India Company. As part of the Netherlands Antilles Aruba came briefly under British rule during the Napoleonic Wars, but was returned to the Netherlands in 1816. In 1824 gold was discovered on Aruba.
The gold rush continued until 1916 when the mines finally became so unprofitable that they had to be shut down. The economy remained weak until an oil refinery was constructed at St. Nicolas in 1924, which raised the standard of living dramatically. Immigration from the rest of the Caribbean The United States Venezuela in Europe contributed to a substantial increase in population. Despite its new economic strength, Aruba remained politically subordinated to the main island of Curaçao. The oil refineries were closed down in 1985 due to the worldwide glut in petroleum, and the emphasis on tourism became especially important. Even after oil refining was resumed in 1991, the island continued to invest heavily in tourist development, and new projects are still going on all the time. In 1986 Aruba obtained autonomous status, the result of a popular movement to break away from Curaçaoan. Rather than from Dutch domination in 1994 the Aruban government, in conjunction with the governments of the Netherlands and the Netherlands and Tellies decided to postpone indefinitely the transition to full independence. Oran ye stud. Oran ye stud is a seaport and chief administrative center of Aruba. Located on the island's southwestern coast. Oran ye stud is named after the Dutch royal house of Oranje, or Orange and has been the capital of Aruba since 1797. Oran Yestad is a free port and a petroleum processing and shipping center. The enclosed harbor, with two basins, has modern cargo handling and fueling equipment as well as facilities for cruise ships. The cruise ship docks are close to downtown and the LG Smith Boulevard. This is a view of Oran Yestad. There are many malls with boutiques and shops in Oran Yestald. The downtown area and Seaport Village are the major shopping areas. The Seaport Village Mall on LG Smith Boulevard is only about one half of a mile. Or 800 meters from the cruise ship docks. This is the Seaport Village Mall. This, again, is the Seaport Village Mall. This is another view of the Seaport Village Mall. These are views of the Seaport Village Mall. This is the Seaport Village Mall. This is the Seaport Village along the waterfront. Wilhelmina Park is a tropical garden on the waterfront along LG Smith Boulevard. It has a sculpture of the Netherlands Queen Wilhelmina, whose reign lasted from 1890 to 1948. Wilhelmina Park is on the waterfront along LG Smith Boulevard. Kayaji F. Batico Crows, or Main Street, runs roughly parallel to the waterfront several blocks inland, and is another major shopping venue. This shows the location of Kayaji F. Batico Crows. Or Main Street. This is a view of Oranje Stad. This is downtown Oranje Stad. These are fountains in downtown Oranje Stad. This is downtown Oranje Stad. This is downtown Oranje Stad. This is Oranje Stad shopping near the Pai. These are pastel buildings in the shopping district of Oranje Stad. This is the Oranje Stad Town Hall. This is a windmill built and used in the Netherlands 200 years ago. It was reassembled in Aruba in 1960. This is a windmill in Aruba. Burials in above-ground crypts are painted to match the family's houses. 
The Archaeological Museum of Aruba is a small museum that highlights the island's Amerindian heritage. Jews, mostly merchants, arrived in Aruba at the beginning of the 20th century when the oil refinery drew people from the Caribbean and Europe. The Jewish population today is small, but the synagogue endures with a membership of about 35 families. The small gift shop has one-of-a-kind air uban Judaica. Aronias.S Protestant Church was built in 1846. It is Aruba's oldest house of worship. Above a terracotta tile roof, the square tower is decorated with stars, hearts, and wooden shutters. During the 18th century, Aronia Stratus Harbor was menaced by pirates. To defend the island, the Dutch erected Fort Zoutman in 1796. Fort Zoutman is the oldest example of Dutch architecture in Aruba. It is situated on what was once the shoreline, as landfill construction in 1930 altered the coastline. In 1867, the Wilm III Tower, named after the then reigning Dutch monarch, was added to Fort Zoutman. Over the years, the site has served as an aloe garden, jail, courthouse, junk room, and tax office. The fort was restored in 1974, and the tower in 1983. Since 1992, the Fort Zoutman complex has housed the Museo Arubano, which displays prehistoric artifacts and remnants from the Dutch colonial period. On Tuesdays, from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., the museum hosts the Bon Beanie Festival, a fair with local arts and crafts, food, music, and dance. The California Lighthouse was named after a vessel called the California. She was a wooden ship sailing from England to Venezuela when she ran aground off this corner of Aruba in 1891. The California Lighthouse was completed in 1914. Perched on a high seaside elevation, the lighthouse has become one of Aruba's scenic trademarks and offers a view of the island's western coastline of sandy beaches. The Butterfly Farm is a 3,000-square-foot mesh enclosed garden with waterfalls and stocked fish ponds. Hundreds of majestic butterflies from all over the world fly freely. The farm is open daily, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., with the last tour at 3.30 p.m. The Arakok National Park is an ecological treasure of Aruba. Among the desert vegetation in the park are divi divi trees, rare exotic cacti, aloe plants, and colorful tropical flowers. The Natural Bridge is one of Aruba's most popular attractions. The bridge is a formation of color limestone cut out by years of pounding surf, and is one of the largest of these types of spans in the world. The natural bridge stands some 23 feet, or 7 meters above sea level, and spans more than 100 feet, or 30 meters. The is a small rock enclosed seawater pool. The ocean surf breaks over the rocks and cascades into the basin. The climate of Aruba. Will it be hot in Aruba? Oh, will it be very hot? Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in Orania Strad. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in Orania Strad. The daytime temperatures in the winter months are very warm 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius. At night the temperatures drop to a more comfortable 76 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius.
Rainfall in Aruba. The rainfall in Aruba is low. Usually no more than 19 inches a year. Here is the average rainfall in inches throughout the year in Oranjesta. The total yearly rainfall is 19 inches or 480 millimeters. Here is the average rainfall in millimeters throughout the year in Oranjestad. The island's natural vegetation consists of a variety of drought-resistant cacti, shrubs, and trees. These are houses in Aruba. Notice the cactus. Most of Aruba's population is racially mixed, including a considerable percentage of American Indian stock often in combination with Dutch, Spanish, and African strains. However, the black influence is minimal since few slaves had been imported to Aruba. The Economy of Aruba Aruba's economy is heavily dependent on tourism. There has been an aggressive promotion and expansion of tourism including the building of luxury hotels and casinos to exploit the idyllic island setting. Aruba's foreign trade is mainly with the United States, Venezuela, and the Netherlands. The island has an international airport and is further linked to the outside world by steamship and cruise ship services. The Money of Aruba Aruba's currency is the florin denoted by the letters AWG, but also widely known as AFL. Currency exchange rates can change daily. For the latest exchange rate click on this icon. This is an Aruban 1 florin coin. 1 florin equals 0.56 US dollars. 1 US dollar equals 1.79 Aruban florins. US dollars are widely accepted in Aruba. This is an Aruban 1996. 5 florin coin. This is an Aruban 1996. 50 cents equals 0.5 florin coin. These are 10 and 25 florin banknotes. Go Orisa Wo. Curaçao is the largest island of the Netherlands Antilles. The capital and largest town is Willemstad. How big is Curaçao? Curaçao is a long and skinny island. The length from end to end is 42 miles, or 68 kilometers. At its widest point. Koorisawo measures no more than 6 miles. Or 10 kilometer. The total area of Koorisawo is just 171 square miles. Oh 444 square kilometer. Which is about twice the size of Washington. D.C. The total population of Koorisawo is 150,000 of which the great majority, 125,000 live in Willemstad. What is the origin of the name Korosawo? Here is one theory. Sailors traveling for months in the sea would often contract scurvy. It appears that in one such long travel, a group of Portuguese sailors landed for the first time in Curaçao. Scurvy can be cured or prevented by drinking or eating plenty of fresh fruits. And sailors were indeed cured of scurvy. Probably after eating fruit with vitamin C. And were brought back on board. The island was known from then on as Ilha da Curaçao, Island of Healing. The origin of the name Curaçao is, however, debated. 
The explanation just presented is gathering more consensus among the Portuguese and the Spanish that the word derives from the Portuguese word for the state of becoming cur curaceo. The reason for this is that sailors traveling for months in the sea would often contract scurvy. It appears that in one of such long travels, a group of Portuguese sailors landed for the first time in Curaceo and were cured of scurvy, probably after eating fruit with vitamin C. The island was known from then on as Ilha da Curaceo, Island of Healing. Another explanation is that it is derived from the Portuguese word for heart Curaceo, referring to the island as a center of trade. Spanish traders took the name over as Curaçao, followed by the Dutch. The history of Curaçao. The Dutch were the most enterprising businessmen in 17th century Europe. Primarily, they were middlemen. They bought, sold, and carried other people's products. With their ample fleet of merchant ships. The Dutch transported commodities to Amsterdam and other Dutch towns and sold them to buyers from all over Europe who congregated there. By gearing their whole society to foreign trade, the Dutch overcame their lack of natural resources, manpower, and military strength. By 2500 BC, the first Amerindians arrived from northern South America in 1499. The first Spanish ship landed at Curaçao. In 1621, the Dutch West India Company was formed in 1628. The Dutch West India Company captured the Spanish silver fleet, consolidating the Dutch domination of the seas. The Dutch had extensive trading links all over the world. It was the need for salt to preserve herring that initially drove the Dutch to the Caribbean. During the period 1660 to 1700, the Dutch West India Company flourished. In 1634 the Dutch seized Curaçao from Spain. Thousands of slaves were then imported to provide labor for the island's plantations. Between 1630 and 1640, the Dutch also seized St. Martin. Saba and St. Eustatius Islands in the northeastern Caribbean, further consolidating their regional trade base. By 1640 the Dutch were the most successful traders in the Caribbean, with settlements in northeast Brazil, Guiana and New York, and lucrative trading posts in six strategically located Caribbean islands. Willemstadt was founded as a fortress town and naval base. The town was named after Prince Willem II, the Dutch Stadtholder, the Magistrate of the United Provinces of the Netherlands. Willemstadt provided one special advantage for the Dutch. It had the finest natural harbour in the West Indies. At the southeastern end of the island, a channel, St. Anna Bay, or St. Annabai, passes through reefs to a large, deep, virtually enclosed bay called Skadagat, the site of the capital town of Willemstad. This is the Skadagat. Fort Amsterdam was located at the entrance to the channel to protect the settlement from enemy and pirate raids. Fort Amsterdam was the administrative seat of the West India Company, as well as the director's residence. It has remained at the seat of government to the present day. This is a map of Curaçao as of 1775. One of the best known historical figures associated with the test I visited actually spent very little time on the island. He arrived to assume the position of director of in 1642, after losing his leg in an attack on the Spanish fort on St. Martin. He departed for the Netherlands in 1644, continuing his directorship from Fay. 
In 1646, Stuyvesant was appointed Director General of Curaçao and New Netherland, a post he administered from the North American colony, until the English ousted the Dutch in September 1664. Once peace was established between Spain and the Netherlands in 1648, Coorisawo was no longer necessary to the Dutch as a military base. By then, however, the island had already proven its worth as a major regional trade center. Over the next hundred years, the Dutch we at the apex as a world commercial buoy, and Willemstead served as the capital of the MP in the Americas. Along with the Dutch West India Company, Curaçao's independent Dutch and Sephardic Jewish merchants played a pivotal role in the island's trade, which extended its reach not just around the Caribbean, but also north to the British American colonies south to the Spanish-American mainland, and across the entire Atlantic to the distant coasts of Northern Europe and Southern Africa. This far-flung commercial network depended on a highly successful local shipping network. From 1646 to 1664, Curaçao was administered from New Netherland, present-day New York in 1651. The first group of 12 Sephardic Jews arrived on Curaçao from Amsterdam. In 1654 the Dutch lost their colony in Brazil. Curaçao's slave population peaked at 12,804 in 1789, and the Jewish population peaked at 2,000. Unlike many Caribbean capitals of the time, Curaçao was exclusively a mercantile hub rather than the center of a sugar plantation economy. Instead of producing cash crops for export, Curaçao relied on the transshipment of goods for its prosperity. The territory of the Netherlands Antilles was created in 1845. The slaves we emancipated in 1863. This was followed by a long period of economic decline until the opening of the first oil refinery in 1915. The first modern cruise ship called up Willem in 1901. The Royal Dutch Shell oil refinery officially opened on Coorisawo in 1918. The company built a refinery on Coorisawo because of its political stability and its excellent port facilities. Coorisawo's refinery is one of the largest oil transshipment terminals in the Caribbean. In 1952, employment at the Shell refinery peaked at 12,631 people. The Netherlands Antilles became an autonomous member of the Dutch Kingdom in 1954. In 1985, the Royal Dutch Shell left Curaçao. Refinery operations were then taken over by the Venezuelan State Oil Company. In 1986 Aruba seceded from the Netherlands Antilles. The United Nations named Willemstad a World Heritage Site in 1997. Willemstad Willemstad is divided into two parts by the channel of St. Annabai, St. Anne leading to Scott Agat Harbour. The two halves of Willemstad, Punda and Otrabanda, meaning the Ephesside, are joined by the Conine Ginema Brug. Oakwin Emma Pontoon Bridge. Built in 1888. This is the Koningen Emma Brug, or Queen Emma Pontoon Bridge. This floating bridge opens up to 30 times a day to allow ships to enter the harbor and docking areas. When the bridge is open, pedestrians use a free ferry to get from one side of town to the other. The first bridge was built in 1888, and has long been a source of curiosity, 
and has become one of the wonders of the world as a tourist attraction. The present bridge was constructed in 1939, and it is the third one to be in use. In the past years, the condition of this famous bridge deteriorated. The bridge was completely disassembled in 2005 for extensive restoration and then reassembled. This is the Konine Gunema Brug. Oquinema Pontium Bridge. This is the Konine Gunema Brug. Or Queen Emma Pontoon Bridge. Looking out to the sea. A fixed bridge. The Konigen Julian de Brug. Completed in 1974. Also spans the channel of St. Anna by. The Queen Juliana Bridge is the highest bridge in the Caribbean. And one of the highest bridges in the world. The Queen Juliana Bridge was named after Queen Juliana who was Queen of the Netherlands from 1948 to 1980. The Koningen Julian Brug offers a great view of Willemstad. This is the Koningen Emma Brug, or Queen Emma Pontoon Bridge. This is the Koningen Emma Brug, or Queen Emma Pontoon Bridge. Here is an aerial view showing the various points of interest. This is a panoramic view of Atra Banda and Panda. Willemstad is a Caribbean center of trade, petroleum storage and refining, tourism, and banking. Willemstad has many Dutch-style gabled houses. Willemstad has many Dutch-style gabled houses. These are some colorful houses in Willemstad. This is a Willemstad house. These are some Willemstad houses. This is a view of Willemstad. This shows the location of the Willemstad cruise ship terminal. Punda is the original settlement that was enclosed by a wall. Fort Amsterdam is located here overlooking Punda. This is Fort Amsterdam which once guarded the entrance to the Scott Tegat Harbor, and now is the seat of the government of Curaçao. This is Fort Amsterdam. This is a view of Fort Amsterdam. This is an oath a view of Fort Amsterdam. This is an aerial view of Fort Amsterdam. This is an old map showing Fort Amsterdam and Wilhelmina Park. This is a view of Breda Street, or Broadway, the main road of Panda. Breda Street, oh Broadway, is the main road of Panda. This is looking down Breda Street in Panda, towards the Queen Emma Bridge. In 1656, the Jewish congregation. Mikveh Israel was founded. The first synagogue was inaugurated in 1692. It was modeled on the Portuguese synagogue of Amsterdam. The old synagogue is located at the corner of Columbus Street and Kirkstrut, about three blocks up from Breda Street, Broad Street, or Broadway. In the years 1731 to 1733, the Mikveh Israel Synagogue was rebuilt and enlarged. The Mikveh Israel Synagogue is the oldest functioning synagogue of the New World. The Temple Emmanuel on the Wilhelminiplein in Panda was first used in 1867. This is a view of Willemstadt. This is a view of Willemstadt. The Curaçao Museum is located in the western part of Atra Banda in a historic building dating from 1853. This is Curaçao's largest museum and exhibits works by traditional as well as contemporary local and foreign artists. The Curaçao Museum has a permanent collection of antique period furniture including some exquisite mahogany pieces from the 18th and 19th centuries, antique maps of Coorisawo and the Caribbean, 
and Indian no. art. The floating market is located on the side channel between St. Anna by and Koningen Willem in Brug. These are visiting Venezuelan, Colombian, and other island schooners lining the canal leading to the floating market. This is the Mercado Flotante, the floating market. The Mercado Flotante, the floating market. The Mercado Flotante, the floating market. Here is an aerial view of the Punda section of Willemstad, showing Fort Amsterdam, the Willemenbrug, and the floating market. The Maritime Museum is located just across from the floating market. The Maritime Museum is located in Scarlet just across from the floating market. In the restored former Hotel Venezuela building. The Maritime Museum pays tribute to Coorisawo's rich maritime history through the ages. Covering a period of over 500 years. Exhibits include antique miniatures, 17th century ship models, nautical equipment, and authentic nautical charts and maps, some dating from the 1500s. Video presentations and multimedia displays are used throughout the museum to bring Caras Aroes maritime history to life. The Pena building is at the northeast corner of Breda Street and handles Cade. It was built in 1708. The tourism kiosk is at the far right. This is the Pena building. The Pena building. This was a colonial mansion and now houses a bank. This is the Willemstead waterfront. This is the Willemstead waterfront. The Dolphin Academy in Curaçao Sea Aquarium offers a unique combination of observation, information, education and interaction. During the day the park offers different feeding shows during which visitors can touch and learn about the animals. The Dolphin Academy is part of the Carasaro Sea Aquarium and is located just a few miles east of Willemstadt on the south coast of the island. This is the Dolphin Academy in Carasaro Sea Aquarium. This is the Dolphin Academy in Carasaro Sea Aquarium. At the Dolphin Academy you can meet the most popular mammals of the sea, the dolphins, in different interactive programs like the Dolphin Encounter, Dolphin Swim, Dolphin Snorkel, or Dolphin Dive. The climate of Koorisawo. Will it be hot in Koorisawo? Oh will it be very hot? Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in Willemstad. Kurosauro. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in Willemstad. Rainfall in Willemstad. Here is the average rainfall in inches throughout the year in Willemstad. The total yearly rainfall is 21 inches or 540 millimeters. Here is the average rainfall in millimeters throughout the year in Willemstad. The money of the Netherlands and Tellies. The currency in the Netherlands and Tellies is the Netherlands and Tellies Gilder. Currency exchange rates can change daily. For the latest exchange rate for the Netherlands and Tellies Gilder, click on this icon. One Netherlands Antilles Gilder, or NLG equals 0.56 US dollars. One US dollar equals 1.79 Netherlands Antilles Gilder. One Netherlands Antilles Gilder equals 0.56 US dollars. One US dollar equals 1.79 Netherlands Antilles Gilder.
This is a Netherlands Antilles two and one half guilders coin. This is a 1994 Netherlands Antilles 50 guilder banknote. This is a 1994 Netherlands Antilles 50 guilder banknote. This is a 1994 Netherlands Antilles 25 guilder banknote. This is a 1964 Netherlands Antilles 2 and 1 half guilders banknote. The economy of the Netherlands Antilles. The economy of Coasaro depends heavily on petroleum from Venezuela. The Dutch found oil in Lake Maracaibo, Venezuela. Poeva. Because Lake Maracaibo was too shallow for ocean-going ships. The oil was transported in smaller vessels to Coorasawo for refining and transshipment. Curaçao has developed large, modern dry docking and bunkering facilities, and became one of the largest ports in the world in terms of total tonnage handled. However, the decline of phosphate mining and automation in the oil industry aggravated problems of unemployment. What does Curaçao buy? All consumer goods and food must be imported. The mainstay of Curaçao's economy is becoming the tourist industry. Scenes of Curaçao This is the Vuur Torren or Lighthouse. These are the windmills near San Pedro. This is looking at the community of Yanthil. With the Caracas Bay in the foreground. This is Fort Nassau. Built between 1796 and 1798. This is looking north from the pier of De Acapaspar at Bocasami. The town is St. Michael. This is Verson Bay. Looking west. This is Passed Bay. These are the plains of Hato with windmills in the distance. This is the natural bridge at Nordbent. This is a coastline view at Nordbent. This is looking south in Christoffel Park. This is the wedding cake house in Skarlu at Skarlu Vag 77. This now houses the National Archives of the Netherlands Antilles. This is a traditional slave house in Grossauro. These are Netherlands Antilles postage stamps. Netherlands Antilles postage stamps. Netherlands Antilles postage stamps. This postage stamp depicts two multi-blade farm windmills pumping water at a sugar cane refinery. A Netherlands Antilles postage stamp. Netherlands Antilles postage stamps. Recommended videos, Aruba and Corosawo. Recommended video, top 10 things to do in Aruba. 10 minutes, 9 seconds. Recommended video, top 10 attractions in Aruba. 8 minutes, 2 seconds. Recommended video, Aruba, history, 3 minutes. 30 seconds. Recommended video, Aruba, One Happy Island, 2 minutes, 20 seconds. Recommended video, The Euro Caribbean Island of Corasawo, 8 minutes, 3 seconds. Recommended video, Top 10 Things to Do in Curacao, 4 minutes, 53 seconds. Recommended video, Welcome to Curacao, 5 minutes, 48 seconds. Recommended video, Curacao in the Caribbean, Unravel Travel TV, 7 minutes, 34 seconds. Aruba and Curacao, Table of Contents. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.